Hello, today's show is going to be titled Oprah, Tyler Perry, Steve Harvey. And today we're going to talk about Oprah, Tyler Perry, and you guessed it, Steve Harvey, who are pretty successful and big business handling entrepreneurs. But there's more to the story of their success, you see. The black community has embraced all three. And these businessmen and businesswomen, and it's not because they all work together at some point, but it's because they fit an agenda. An agenda that has been tapped and awoken in our community 40 years ago. That's the base of their success. If you don't get my drift or where I'm coming from, you're asleep. Ladies and gentlemen, the revolution will not be televised. Oh well, it will be televised, but not the one you're seeking. You see, you can sell a fool anything. While me and you and I are getting up, going to work today and tomorrow, and doing what we do day to day, aspiring to become rich, whether it's working or chasing a dream, a lot of people have come to terms with the fact that they have failed themselves in certain areas of their natural life. And by natural, I mean that in a sarcastic way. See, while we wish to be like any of these three people and have the things that they have and do most of the things that they do and capture their presence, we have already took the little comparison and we already have took little in comparison the money that we make and have contributed to their success and our demise. You get what you pay for. Let me explain. Miss Oprah Winfrey. She's a great entrepreneur, businesswoman, an iconic figure who has done many things for the black people in general and just for people in general. She's done a lot of things for them and she's been in business for more than two decades. But so most of us have grown up with her and have watched her grow and recognize her to some degree but to say her being a millionaire to some degree not knowing who her who her fans are and who her core audience is you know or who her core audience have been over the years would be an understatement in other words this bitch knows what she's doing and she knows how to make money yes look at your paychecks people because some of it has gone to her and some of it will go to her in the future there's no way you can be in business that long with all that money and all the companies that she owns and the people's jobs that she employs on the line and not know these things do you agree so over the years you know there's just no way you can you can be in, in in business that long and not know who your core audience is so over the years she sold you countless books, movies, dreams, other people's books, theories, hell. She even showed she even sold you cooking ideas and relationship advice. But let's not forget why she's around. See, what people won't tell you, and definitely what the media won't tell you, is that Miss Winfrey's show and success came about at the same time when Tier 3 feminism started. Her show, which spawned many others in inspiration, like the Tyra Banks show, the Monique show, and, you know, all these other shows that you probably have out right now, the Wendy Williams show. And what it is, is it's a big false victory in black feminism, which derives from white feminism. See, being that you've done history on the African-American race, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So at the same time, in the 1980s, it was to fit the agenda, with talk shows being more, you know, more of the thing that's coming in, and females being more, you know, it, talk show basically is a female more orient, orientated type of, you know, activity or show or whatever have you. Um, the thing that, you know, they got to their core audience with the stay-at-home mothers and ladies having their traditional roles but at the time when tier 3 feminism started a lot of ladies and mothers were opting out of their traditional roles so this was kind of the more icing on the cake for them to actually opt out and see that they can do other things with their time and you know things in general so to them Oprah symbolized more you know she symbolized more for them just to see a lot of black women you know, for many different reasons, you know, she just symbolized some point of success for black women in general. And a lot of black women took that and seeing that her being successful actually pertains to them 
and what they have going on. And her image somehow justifies their behavior and certain things that they do and what they have going. So they and others listen and hang off of every word that she says within belief, whether they realize it pertains to their lives or not. So, hey, fake it till you make it. But when they follow this fool's errand and turn 30 years old and 40 years old, single with kids, they realize that it was all a joke at some point. And they get mad or go in denial and, you know, can't figure out why certain things are a certain way when they actually understand it the whole time. Um, the transaction over the time and years was that Oprah, she hooks your attention, appeals to your intellect, earns your money and time. And in that time frame, you give your money and your time with the advice that she gives you or whatever that you take from her show and you apply it to your life, whether it, it drives it for good or bad. You see, she pulls off the agenda that the feminist movement poured into the media. And then now, you know, her gig is over. There's no more Oprah Winfrey show. So you, on the other hand, are left with false hopes, real life mistakes, probably a million books, cooking tips, and all types of things, and, you know, right about now, you're probably in your mid-20s, so, you know, the older you get, it's, it's a little bit worse, because then you start to get set in your ways, and it's hard to change you, because you feel at some point, oh, well, I've been doing this for a long time, and it's gotten me far, I don't need to change, so you're less reluctant to change, and I failed to mention that your follower has retired, so now, you have to come to terms that you now are in need of a new person to follow. In comes, you guessed it, 